morning. This is our third time trying an intro today. Apparently we're in Turks and Caicos. We okay. are actually in Roatan. Uh, we just finished up a week at Turquoise Bay. Now with, you can add on to that. With Kids Sea Camp, but now we are in West End for the next, what, three weeks? Yes. And we're just about to head over to Roatan Divers to go diving with them. So let's go see what they have to offer. Okay, that was better than it was before. Look both ways. And Which cross. way are we going? That way. Okay, bye. Bye guys. Well, Woody's. Such a good little grocery store. You can really get everything in there, unless you want milk, bread. Oh, we did get bread. Unless you want milk, butter, cheese, meat, drinks, water, everything else you can get in Woody's. Apart from them. Everything I just mentioned. Apart from the basics. As we walk through the gullies of West End, we come across this really cool net crab. It's also known as an orangutan crab, but it was so cool. And can you guys guess what Holly's saying here? They are orangutan crab. They are orange As you probably could tell, she was saying it's an orangutan crab. They're very uncommon, but they're really cool to see in the water. And then I come across and spot a sharp nosed eel, or also known as a snake eel, in the nooks and crannies, really fighting. He's definitely caught something and trying to eat something. And whatever was in there, maybe a fish or a crab or a shrimp, were putting up some fight. But this was awesome. Meat walnut. This is a juvenile smooth trunk fish. They go through different stages of their life. So you have them. When they're really tiny, they get nicknamed peas. And then we get a bit bigger, they're nicknamed walnuts before they reach their full size. They're so difficult to find and very rare to find, but it was really cool to see one. And then next thing, I see Martin is pointing down and we come across another seahorse. Never had seahorse in the channel, but Rotan kept delivering seahorse for us. But honestly, when we were diving East End, there was life everywhere. We had stingrays, southern stingrays, we had eagle rays, we have bar jacks, we've come across net crabs that I've never seen before, we've come across little walnuts, there was just so much life around and the fish are pretty used to being around divers, even the green sea turtles were not even bored with divers around which was awesome. And then I have no idea how Martin saw this, this is a pikefish. It's from the same family of seahorses, but look at the size of it. It was just in the sand, and it was really difficult to see. I didn't have a macro lens on to show it better, unfortunately. And then we came across another net crab. Never seen them, twice in a couple of dives. I'm like, okay, this is awesome. This dive was amazing in West End. We come across another green sea turtle. So we already had two in this dive. We've had southern stingrays, we've had net crabs. The diving on West End was phenomenal. Oh, and don't forget a nitty brank. Everyone loves a nitty brank. Now this little guy was hard to spot. I just had to be cruising along the reef and look down and here is a dark mantis shrimp. Now he was really cool the way we were watching him. As you can see, we came across the reef, spotted him in this sponge and we were like, look how cool he is. Holly's really watching him saying, look at him, how cool is this guy? I just have to see him just sticking out, and this is what I love. Just wait for it. Boom! Off! He's off! And the cleaning rash jumps the other side. That was so cool to see the way he jumped, and then the cleaning rash jumped the other way. So awesome to see, but we were having so much fun in these dives. And then Holly even spotted a juvenile one of a dark mantis shrimp. Now, of course, this is not all one dive. 
This is a few dives. It's maybe about four or five dives at West End. We were diving for Rotan divers and we were just having so much fun. The reef is healthy compared to the northeast of the island and there's just so much marine life. And of course, you give Holly a camera, she's mischievous. Saying, shh, I'm gonna sneak up him. I'm gonna film him. And I turn around and I see her sitting there with the camera like, uh-uh, what are you up to? So I stick my tongue out to her, but we are just having some fun. Playing around, having a laugh in the water, and then without knowing, she perched my rig. The little rat. Absolutely mm -hmm. lamped me and I'm like, nope, she's off celebrating, dancing my face. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you for real right now? I'm like, Holly, I am coming for you. And look at her, so smug, dancing, celebrating. But when she was celebrating, she bumped into the coral. She's like, don't put that in. No, don't put that in. You can't have that. I'll get hate for that. That was completely accidental. But I'm like, you purge my rig? That's definitely making it in the cut. Always avoid touching the reef. Be careful, you never want to bump into the reef. But unfortunately, if you're not paying attention, you see what happens but always be careful with the reef and never touch it. But I really hope you guys enjoyed coming out and exploring West End. The West End dive sites are amazing in Rotan. Even just here, look, an eagle ray. And actually last week when we were diving in Rotan, we had five eagle rays on the dive, but unfortunately the GoPro had died and I didn't have it on that dive and it was spectacular. So if you ever come to Rotan, definitely come and dive the West End or West Bay sites of the island. So much marine life, absolutely spectacular. But as always guys, we'll see you next week and stay safe. First shopping trip done. <laughs> kind of, second. Second. <laughs>